Hi everyone and welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to share my current favorite nude lipsticks. I've got a seven shades and these are pink and brown toned nude lipsticks. I've got high end options and drugstore options. For foundation reference, I am NC40 in MAC Studio Fix Fluid and some of my other foundation shades are going to be in the description box. I really like all these shades and I can't wait to show you how beautiful these look on my skin tone. So let's get started. First shade is from the Plume Blush Matte Lipstick. It's called High Tea. This is a brown nude with neutral undertone. The application is very easy if you prep your lips. It's got a matte finish and is very comfortable on the lips. It does transfer a bit but it's very lightweight and has 5-6 to six hours of staying power. I love the classy rose gold packaging of this lipstick and the shape reminds me of Fenty. Next shade is Sultry Coco from Daughter Earth Phytonutrient Lipstick. It's a deep rosy brown shade. It looks stunning on my skin tone. If you have warm or olive undertone, you should definitely give it a try. It has a transfer proof matte finish and it's extremely pigmented. It has got one swipe pigmentation. It doesn't dry out your lips and has 5 to 6 hours of staying power. Next is the MAC Satin Lipstick in Twig. This again is a very pink nude kind of shade. It's a bit more vibrant and saturated than the previous shade. It's very comfortable. It does transfer but it has a satin finish. This is the best formula for dry, dehydrated or chapped lips. It looks so smooth on the lips. Next up, I have the Lakme 9 to 5 Weightless Matte Mousse Lip and Cheek Color in Blush Velvet. This is a cool toned pink that has blue undertone. This is my all time favorite pink shade. I used to use it a lot, it pairs really well with smoky eyes. On number 5, I have the NYX Powder Puff Lippy in Cool Intention. It's a proper brown nude, it has a neutral undertone. It's got a powder matte finish. The best thing about this lipstick is it goes with every makeup look. You can also shear it down and wear it for a very natural look. This is a perfect MLBB shade for me and it's very very comfortable on the lips. Next is the Faces Comfy Matte Lip Color in Fixed It For You. This is a matte liquid lipstick in a deep warm pink color. You need to prep your lips before application, otherwise it will dry out your lips. It's extremely pigmented, very smooth and is 100% transfer proof once it dries down. I want to try more shades from this range because it's very affordable. Ultimately, I have the Kiro Non-Stop Airy Matte Liquid Lipstick in Nutmeg Nude. It's a warm toned brown nude and is extremely comfortable. It has a powder matte finish but it's very lightweight and it will not dry out your lips. Staying power is about 7-8 to eight hours. I really like Kiro lipsticks because the shades are very universal. Most of the shades look very flattering on all skin tones. Since it's winter, I am only choosing formulas that are very very comfortable on my lips. So some of the bullet lipsticks are not transfer proof. During winters, my lips get extremely dry so I cannot wear like proper liquid matte lipsticks. They just dry out my lips and they irritate my lips. That's it. I hope you liked this video. I hope you find this helpful. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.